Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video we will be channeling your deceased loved ones so that they can tell you what it is that they want you to do right now. As you can see you have these three groups to choose from today. For group number one we have card number 47 and it says in German sacred reverence and with it we have this pointy lipidolite crystal very beautiful for group number two we have card number nine kiss of the rose and i hope the camera does it justice by the way so there is this um ladybug on this rainbow rose which i love so much um and just real quick on card number one you can see these um hands forming a heart and in the center there's a key and above we have a heart-shaped lock. <laughs> so yeah, but back to group number two, um, where we have the kiss of the rose and this um, yellow quartz crystal. And for group number three, we have behind the illusion, card number 42. You can see a mirror and butterflies and smoke coming out and a ghostly face. And with it, we have this pointy clear crystal quartz. So all you need to do now, as always, is to focus your attention on today's topic and the loved one that you would like to connect with. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to. And when you think you're ready to see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most, do not overthink it. Let your intuition decide. And then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I'll see you there. Welcome to your reading group number one, everyone who resonated with card number 47, Sacred Reverence, <clears throat> and this Lipidolite crystal here. So you are about to hear from your deceased loved ones what they would like you to do. Just keep in mind that this is a reading for the collective, so not every single detail might resonate. Only take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. So yeah, let's take a deep breath, everyone. I feel some tension. <laughs> And, you know, I read um, my audience's energies as well. So some of you might, you might feel kind of stressed or pressured. And you might have recently found out some uncomfortable news, maybe some news that put a lot of pressure on you. So this might not be for everyone, just everyone get centered, you know, and please open up your energies to me as your reader and to um, your loved one and to spirit. It works. Time and space are irrelevant. And we're going to do this for the highest good of everyone involved. I'm getting that I literally need to calm you down. Like, do you have panic attacks or anxiety attacks or do you get very, very overwhelmed or have you been so restless recently? And let me tell you, a lot of what you are going through is obviously connected to human karma and what everyone is suffering from globally and also what's happening in space. I can't talk about this on this platform. All I'm saying is CERN, NASA and solar storms. OK, that affects us. And there's an intention behind it. So you just make sure you ground yourselves. And I feel like what I am telling you right now is what your loved ones want you to do as well. Okay. So they are saying, stay grounded, stay calm, be peaceful. <laughs> they are very reassuring. They are like someone who's trying to help someone else who is having somewhat of a panic attack or who's very worried about the future and about everything that's going on. So you can see on this card here, you can see um, Mother Gaia, planet Earth. Okay. And your loved ones want you to realize that Yes, awful things happen on this planet because this planet is school for the soul. And unfortunately, 
in this form of existence, we have to go through pain in order to grow. But also good things happen, amazing things happen. You have to realize that right now, in this very second, someone is being... I don't want to say these things, but I'm having quite like vile, dark images right now. So the worst that could ever happen to someone is happening while at the same time someone is getting married to the love of their life. Right now someone is dying while at the same time someone is being born and your loved ones want you to understand that it's all in the hands of the creator, of the divine. I don't know what your belief system is and what you believe in but if you believe in God or Jesus then know that you know they're looking after what's happening here. Um, if you believe in angels or galactic beings you know there is a higher um, power a loving higher creational power that understands the higher purpose behind everything and um, know that the key to everything is love you know these hands they're doing this kind of like no they're doing I can't do it for you like this heart will be upside down you know but the key is love the key is that you realize that you are loved and protected and that nothing could ever happen that is worse than what you can handle and if you are completely new to my channel um I practice and teach some deep spiritual guidance and truths and I have a playlist that is always linked in the description box down below it's shorts okay so less than one minute of um, spiritual teachings that will help you understand um, why we have to suffer so much here and what death truly means okay and also on my mystic channel I teach a lot about galactic beings and the different forms of existence planet earth is the worst okay but this is not your true home your loved ones want you to understand don't mistake your ego and the person that you are and where you are living with who you for who you truly are because you are an internal being of love and now you chose to experience yourself as a human on planet earth but this is not your constant home your constant real home is on the other side side is in heaven and your loved ones they are in heaven that's why they are so reassured and so adamant about teaching you you are safe this is all meant to happen just surrender so Sur surrender your pain and worries and fears to the divine everything is within you know the <sighs> legal system of karma so the pain you go through is a chosen fate and if that triggers you do not watch this reading do not watch my channel at all because i teach people um you know about being independent and self-reliant and taking responsibility that will unlock so much healing all right and sacred reverence Again, trust the divine plan, trust the higher purpose, trust your karmic life plan. And you can find out a lot about your suffering and why you have to go through it if you look for these answers. And they're not going to be easy, but they are there. It's available to you. And the key to everything is love. So know that you're loved. You're so loved and love yourself and don't hate the past that shaped you. Because if you do, then you don't truly love yourself. All right. Um... I'm getting that you are surrounded by a lot of angels and spiritual beings. And please, you know, if you are someone who's very negative, you might have reasons for it. But understand that the more you appreciate the fact that there are beings around you, making sure that nothing happens that is worse that you can handle. If you don't appreciate them, you know, you create blockages. So just appreciate them and know that they're with you, okay? You're not alone. You're not ever alone. And you're constantly being sent little helpers, okay? Little things like if my work helps you a lot, you know, that was sent to you. Um, and other things and other people, they're being sent to you so that you can make it and unlock, you know, wisdom. Um... I'm getting a psychic download. Something about bones and knees. Again, does someone have... Or maybe that's a loved one who passed away from an injury or maybe a tumor, tumor bone, bone disease or like something about bones and joints. 
and all physical health issues have a spiritual root cause, always go and consult with a health professional. I am just a psychic medium giving spiritual advice, but you know, there is always a spiritual root cause. And this card just fell over and look, you are now in chaos. And if you saw what your loved ones are seeing, you would realize it's a rainbow. It feels overwhelming and they understand your pain, but just trust that what's happening is for your highest good, okay? And you will have this rainbow after the storm. And I was, um, you know, guided to pick my rainbow crystals today and now that this card fell over. So they're saying also watch out for rainbows. They sent you those rainbows as signs to guide you and to give you hope. There is hope, there is hope. So they, they want you to keep that hope alive. Okay, and to keep looking for love within yourself, practice it. Also, number 47 is my little brother's lucky number. It could be your lucky number. Four and seven, 47, or maybe 11, because that adds up to four and seven is 11. So angel number synchronicities for sure. And yeah, there is something about bone marrow or joints or bones, broken bones, surgery, bone disease for someone here. This will only resonate with a few, but know that all your pain is valued, is seen, it doesn't go unnoticed and all your pain can be healed. If you change your perspective, okay, you're not a victim and they want you to claim this attitude and look for truths that will truly free you. As I've been saying, this is only a reading for those who appreciate these tougher teachings. I respect and appreciate that not everyone wants this type of guidance, but I'm that's the only thing I can do because I practice what I preach. Okay, so let's get some more of these lovely rainbow um, oracle cards that were kindly gifted to me by Melanie. Melanie, thank you so much. Um, if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. Let's get some more rainbows. Obviously, these cards are German, so I'll keep on translating for you. You might have a German connection. Does someone here have a German boyfriend or something? I was just seeing that. Also, I'm being shown as shown a star. A star. I don't know what that means. Like a cute, or is this a starfish? Has someone found a starfish, or do you have a starfish somewhere? Is this about SpongeBob? I don't know. They're showing me all kinds of things. This is something that I. Um, oh my god! I got as a gift recently. I see more things, but it came through a very heartbreaking loss you know so trust that your losses will come with gifts as well if you choose to see the loss from a different perspective as is was it is yeah it is what it is it is what it is number six and here we have a portal and a door and that's kind of locked and i was getting from some of you that you are christian like some of you in my audience you might be quite religious or maybe it's not uh, Christianity, maybe it's some different kind of religion, okay? Maybe, okay, maybe some of you, you have lost faith because of this pain, okay? And your loved ones are saying, if you want to deal with your pain, you have to accept what is. And um, many religions teach that, but, you know, not all religions teach their authentic teachings. They give like a airy fairy superficial version to attract more people and often to mislead them but many religions preach that only acceptance and surrender will heal you so i see a cat here you might be like me and you might have a spirit cat i see a cat here sitting on top of that door and they're smiling so that's a sign for some of you only but um don't lose faith and it's always good to question any sort of teaching. Always ask questions because that will unlock truths that truly help you, okay? If you're starting to lose your faith, don't hate God, just question him. Only if you question him, you can truly find your faith. So no one um, looks down upon you for, um, you know, not being happy with God. 
um, considering what you've been going through. Just use it as a trigger to find the answers that will be given to you, okay? Don't lose faith and surrender. It will bring a lot of stability to you in the long run. And again, stars. Yeah, calming your spirit. That's what I did with you in the beginning, calming your spirit. 32, when this person is meditating and they're floating on a lotus, um, I always say, and it's not just me, okay, everything I teach here, I did not come up with it. I went through hell and looked for answers everywhere in philosophy, psychology, religion, um, NDE and OBE accounts. I accumulated wisdom from everywhere, okay? And Buddhism is a very good religion for those of you who want to be religious and who want and need structure but aren't necessarily happy or in alignment with you know religions like um islam or christianity so maybe you will find a lot of answers in buddhism buddhism is a lot about peace and happiness inner happiness and it kind of includes the body more when you look at meditation practices so just maybe that's your calling to dig deeper into um, buddhism okay it's helped me a lot in my beginning stages and just stay calm stay calm do some breathing exercises mindful breathing mindful walking listen to music sleep more number one <laughs> the magic of earth okay I told you there's a big earth connection. So know what you're going through. You are not alone. And a lot of healing will come to you if you realize that who you are, what do you see in the mirror, okay? That person you see is not truly who you are, the name you have, the people you know. All of that is just clothes that the soul puts on in this lifetime because you want to experience yourself as something in order to learn something specific. You walk here for a limited amount of time and when you are done, you will cross over and go home. But please don't waste what you are going through and please appreciate and look at your pain because if you don't, if you hate it, you're going to fail your lesson and you're going to have to come back. So many people go through endless cycles of suffering and reincarnation because when they are presented with pain, they push it away. They want to change it. You have to embrace that pain in order to dissolve it. Okay, that's not me coming up with this. I heard this from many different wise people and that's the only thing that will help you. If you're constantly working on avoiding pain you're not going to learn the lesson so sit with your pain can you look at your own shadow can you love it and accept it can you surrender if you do i promise you it's gonna go away watch my playlist it will help you a lot and stay grounded you are meant to be here you are here for a reason this is not a mistake this is not punishment you are here to unlock wisdom yeah, a great symphony, 27. You know, you, what's happening here on planet Earth, we are all part of a huge orchestra, okay? A huge orchestra playing um, a global human karmic concert okay and you are so important and what you go through you might think this is all very personal and only limited to yourself but no it's not everything you do and feel and say affects all souls on this planet okay and right now many 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 people are waking up and many, 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 many people are refusing what's coming, which is the new world. So we're going to see a lot of people passing, okay? And you are going to be here. You're meant to be here. And you're receiving a wake-up call. Look at that. There's music coming out. It's the heavens. It's the universe. It's God, your angels, whatever you believe in, speak into you. So listen. Like, don't... Um, you know, shut your ears, don't shut down, like listen, listen to what your pain wants to tell you. Have you ever had the guts to like be with your grief? 
be with your grief, listen to it. Why does it hurt so much? And if you fully accept that, and if you fully love yourself in your darkest moments, it's going to go away and you're going to receive blessings through it. I know what I'm talking about, okay? My channel is a result of me going through hell and, you know, not giving up. If I can do it, you can do it too. And if you're still here and only the real ones are still going to be here, please give this video a thumbs up. It's so important that the people who do appreciate my readings let me know and that you help us stand a chance in the game of the algorithm. So please leave a comment. If you don't know what to say, comment an earth like emoji, the globe or um, a rainbow. And if you are new and like my style, then please subscribe and join the Purple Heart Tribe. We're now going to continue with the Little Prince tarot cards that Diane sent me. Thank you, Diane. The Little Prince is my favorite book. And I highly encourage you that you should read it. It's full of wisdom about pain and about how seeing things with your heart and not with your eyes can truly get rid of your suffering, okay? The Little Prince. It's an amazing book. Now, loved ones, what more do you want to say? Your loved ones are very old souls. They have a lot of wisdom. And look, this is the rose. So those of you who know the Little Prince know that the Little Prince is on planet Earth and he always misses his beautiful beloved rose. So your loved ones know how much you miss them. They know, okay, they know, but they know that you're meant to go through this for a reason, to learn. So don't throw away this lesson and know that you will go home and see them again. Death, oh my God, guys. For those of you who, who really listen and are still here, I just told you he misses the rose and there's a rose in the night sky and death and separation. So your lesson in this lifetime is dealing with loss and death and don't be like, no, I hate it. I don't want it. Why, why, why? If you're like that, you're not going to be able to heal this karmic pain and to learn the lesson. Please embrace it and deal with it. And I teach people how to do that, okay? If I can do it, you can too. Death is not the end. I'm, I'm not just saying that, guys. I truly, truly mean it. I don't feel like this King of Swords plays a role. My reading style is that I only take the cards that fall out and resonate with me. Because sometimes, by law of physics, many fall out. I only take those that call me. This one calls me. Two of Cups. And do you understand now why I chose this one? And I hadn't even looked at it, you know? There's a volcano that's burning, there's black smoke, and he actually looks like he's crying. What is he doing? He is nurturing this rose with his tears. So that's again your loved one saying, and this is so very powerful, and I hope you claim and understand his message, that your pain is so valuable if you look at it and embrace it, because your pain nurtures this rose, and as soon as you see that, you'll stop crying. Okay, I don't know if you can follow me, but guys, your pain is a chosen fate. And if you learn to deal with it, which is not going to be easy, you're going to never have to go through this again. Okay, Whew. this is a lot, a lot, a lot. So many lovely guys of you here, of my audience, you in my audience, you told me that you appreciate me for my spiritual truths because I felt that I have outgrown my audience. So it's so important that you let me know that you get what I'm saying here, that you're with me. Ten of Cups. Look, this is about emotional fulfillment. It's your loved ones confirming what I had just said. If you learn this lesson now, you're never going to have to go through it ever again. We come here in order to experience things, okay? And your soul chose to experience loss and separation. And this might not be the first time. The more you fail lessons in your incarnations, the harder and more painful they get until you finally tackle them. Now is your chance to do it and to bring an end to this karmic cycle, okay? And then, you know, on the other side, there'll be nothing but love, okay? Love, love, love. Love is the only truth. Love never dies. You'll see it. You'll feel it. And you never have to go through this again. 
and your incarnation compared to eternity is just a glimpse. But the more that you identify with your ego personality, the more this lifetime feels like hell and a prison. But if you saw things from the perspective of your eternal soul, you would see that this is just a glimpse because the true amount of time that you experience yourself in is on the other side is in heaven is where bliss is the only thing that you can feel and we here we have the knight of wands in the reverse so this is you and um some of you might be quite why are you still watching those of you who are angry because of what i said why are you still watching i read your energies if what i say triggers you let, don't watch it okay and for those of you who are triggered but who are still trying to you know understand and like learn from this thank you okay so this is about anger some of you are quite angry about this but this is going to block your healing just seriously surrender surrender because you might self-sabotage be very patient with yourselves take it step by step and um, follow the guidance from people that the universe sends you there is so much genuine guidance that will help you and you can do it if i can do it you can do it guys so this was a tough reading thank you so so very much for those of you still listening really really love you and um yeah i'm wishing you all the best take very good care and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye bye Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, the kiss of the rose. And there's lovely um, yellow clear quartz. So we are about to channel your deceased loved ones. In fact, they're already here. And um, they will tell you what it is that they want you to do. Just keep in mind, this is a reading for the collective. So not every single detail might resonate with you. I only take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't it will be for someone else but yeah your loved ones um you know the rainbow has been um <laughs> haunting me ever since i did my rainbow bridge reunion meditation where you can reunite with your deceased pets if you haven't checked it out do it's very beautiful and it's inspired by an actual incident that i had with a rainbow light so the rainbow must be a sign for you for sure um we have a rainbow here on the back of the card as well and rainbow roses they actually do exist they're not natural but some people you know they dye a white rose um and make it look like a rainbow have you ever done that so beautiful and here we have a ladybug so they might be signs for you <laughs> Especially if you're watching this reading in real time and you are on the right side of the globe and the northern hemisphere for that. There's lots of uh, ladybugs right now, at least where I am. Um, and also I, I was doing this and I wondered why. Yeah, because that's the, the thorns. Um, it makes me think of um, Sleeping Beauty. Okay, she um, hurt her finger now. Yeah, she does. Um, and that's how she falls asleep. She has this, like she's spinning that um, wheel and she has a finger and then she, the curse is activated and she falls asleep for ages. Yeah, and here we have Kiss of the Rose and she's being woken up by the kiss of true love. So this is quite, I love the vibe here. This is a very beautiful reading. Um, Number nine is about wish fulfillment. So I'm not quite so sure what your loved ones want to tell you exactly, but they want you to make a wish and to believe in that wish. Wish upon a star also. And, um, you know, rainbows, they can also be a sign that a wish will come true because rainbows stand for hope. And ladybugs, at least in my culture, are said to bring good luck. So this is about good luck, hope and wish fulfillment and just um, glitter and fairy tale, fairy tale ending. So 
Your loved ones want you to know and to believe that you will have a fairy tale ending. If you don't believe in it, you're going to block it. Okay, so please just be open. You might have many reasons to be pessimistic and skeptical, but work on that because there are infinite possibilities and opportunities for you to have a fairy tale happy ending, like a really cheesy Disney one. Okay, uh, so stay hopeful and maybe watch out for rainbows or ladybugs. Um, as a sign from not just your loved ones, but also spirit. So um, they're saying it's kind of time for you to wake up from your curse, from your slumber. And you might not be awakened by the kiss of true love, but um, by the kiss of the rainbow rose. That might be your loved ones kissing you from the other side. I love this energy so much. So let's get more cards. They were kindly gifted to me by Melanie. And this crystal is from Lori. So thank you so much if you're watching. And if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. I'm super excited for this and I need it. Sorry for that noise. Just needed to close the window. I need it because group number one's reading was very heavy. And I love to put my crystals like this, like an antenna. So not... Um, something to hurt us, something to help us channel this positive energy, because look how yellow this is. I really wanted a yellow crystal and then Lori delivered. So this just raises my vibration so much and my happiness. So get a yellow crystal to channel this bright yellow sunshine, pixie dust, sparkle energy. Maybe that's what your loved ones want you to do, like little rituals to um, help you attract this blessing. So, loved ones, what do you want group number one to do? The box um, that these cards came and just closed um, on its own. That was a bit funny. Oh my God, it is what it is. Why does this always happen? So someone here comes from group number one and you will have seen this card. Okay, it is what it is. Um, number six is the energy of love and balance and harmony. And um, it is what it is. You have to accept that you in this lifetime had to go through something like a curse or long slumber or something or some darkness because it brought you where you are today and it um, will be the trigger for you to have this blissful moment. So a door will be open for you. I see clouds here and I see a heart-shaped cloud. I actually saw a heart-shaped cloud then I saw a cloud that looked like um, a picture frame and I saw a kiss in the form of a cloud. So do some sky gazing during daytime. You'll be amazed what your loved one sent you there. So this is a sign for some of you to, to do that, please. Um, daydream, daydream, build that sky castle and trust and believe that it will manifest, okay? So no one can change your past. Love your past because it shaped you and be so excited about the future because this door is going to open. So this is truly about, you know, what you've been daydreaming of and um, been trying to manifest. You're going to have it. This might be love. This might be some different blessing. I don't know. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? I drew the same card as well in group number one. I always find this boring because I want to show you guys more cards. But here we go. So this is maybe a collective thing or many people watch both of these groups. I don't know. Calm your spirit. OK, so calm down. Don't let the stress of daily life be a blockage to your portal opening to your wish fulfillment. Just stay centered and um, yeah, practice meditation techniques like deep breathing, activate your chakras. Um, you should activate your root chakra. And I see the yellow here. So place a yellow crystal where your root chakra is to like nurture that part of your body because you have energy um, centers there and you want to raise your energy. So do whatever it takes. Listen to music, do mindful breathing, mindful walking, move your body, do something um, to 
a void that your mind that is very conditioned, the monkey mind that can be very negative to avoid that it will block the blessings because these blessings, they come from your heart, okay? And um, often our brains interfere with um, the heart. So please make sure you don't allow that to happen and just do that by distancing yourselves from what your brain tells you. So maybe um, you are trying to have new love and your brain keeps on telling you, you are too ugly, you are too old, you're too this and that. Just shut that off, okay? Shut it off and let your heart speak and manifest this blessing to get rid of conflict. I hope we're gonna get a new card. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> This was almost, almost the same card that I pulled in group number one as well. But here we have angel number 11 and it says perfect harmony. I love that. Perfect harmony and we have music here. So music, guys, is healing. But music can also be an instrument to cause spiritual damage. I'm sure you're not listening to that kind of music. Listen to pure uplifting music, okay? That just makes you feel good and makes you feel like dancing or makes you feel calm. I don't know what kind of music you like. Do that. And it will trigger that harmony in your body cells as well. There's scientific research that it works because the angels, the heavens, they want you to have this perfectly harmonious blessing that's coming. Um, yeah, so listen to music that makes you feel so good, you know, it triggers endorphins and your thoughts, they, um, they manifest. The words that you speak are spells, so be careful what you think and what you say. Yes, a touch of magic, number 48. So um, in German we say Hauch, we say a breath of magic. And this is in alignment with what I had just said, that the words that you speak, okay, you are actually using spells there. So if you constantly say, I'm too old for a partner, or I'm too uneducated for this job, or I'm too poor um, to do this and that, you manifest it. So please speak positive mantras. Look, look into mantras, okay? and meditation for that. Um, yeah, and again, I just have to say it, maybe Buddhism really helps you. Buddhism can be very beneficial to us, people who kind of want to have a philosophy or religion without it being too like strict and old fashioned. So um, yeah, look in that and look into that and set your mind free. There's a lot of darkness in your mind that creates blockages for this wish fulfillment. It is yours. But you need to open that portal, okay? And you open it by just attracting these blessings into your life. You can do it. And if you want to claim this message, then please, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment a rainbow and a rose for sure. That's how I know that you watch this pile and the ladybug, you know? Um, and if you are new and would like to stay, subscribe and join the Purple Heart Tribe. I would love that. Now let's continue with Diane's um, Little Prince tarot cards. I love them so much. Thank you, Diane. The Little Prince is my favorite book. I've read it in four or five languages. So excited that we have tarot cards here. <sighs> Loved ones, what do you want group number two to do? What do you want them to do? Okay, I'm saying shuffle. What do you want them to do? The devil in the reverse. Yeah, I told you, look, there's chains. And if you know the little prince, um, you know, they're different. I don't want to give away too much, but there are different planets. And each planet is ruled by a specific person. You know, you have the businessman, the ruler, the drunk person, and the little prince has very philosophical conversations with these suffering people. So end your own suffering, break these chains of suffering. And you know, who holds these chains? It's your brain. So please brainwash yourselves in a positive way. Get rid of those old thinking patterns that cause blockages because everything that your logical mind comes up with as to why you can't have these blessings will, you know, manifest into you not having them. So just cut the cords and 
visualize and speak good things and it will happen because the devil has done you dirty and he's in the past so time for you to leave yes queen of swords this is you you can be men watching this this is just your divine feminine energies um have a clear mind clear your mind free your mind and um you know don't be the devil's advocate be the angel's advocate you know when the little devil on your shoulder says eh, you're too ugly um, you're not going to find a partner. Let the angel speak and say, what? Shut up, devil. Um, I'm beautiful. You know, I have a beautiful heart, whatever. And she is sitting on the earth here. So be very smart and strategic about this manifestation process. Okay. So really look into mantras that you could say and yoga poses or like whatever tickles your fancy, your music, like make a plan and um, be tenacious with it. It's going to work out. You're going to succeed. Yeah, we have the Empress in the reverse. And then we have the prince coming down from these stairs. And this is exactly what I saw in the beginning. She looks like Sleeping Beauty, but doesn't she? And here's the time. So some of you, and I've been getting this quite a lot, you might have it in your toxic brain <laughs> that you don't have enough time to heal, to find love, to pursue the career that you want, like whatever it is, to move to your dream location. That's the devil saying that to you. Don't listen to the devil. Just visualize yourself in all the beauty and bliss that you want. Make sure that you allow for these positive feelings to go all throughout your body and then see yourself there and it's going to come. So there's a lot of potential for rich fulfillment and abundance. Um, and emotional happiness but um, yeah you have to be quite tenacious and strategic to you know get the devil out of your brain the devil of societal norms and nasty people around you and you know your inner demons that can be very loud the magician in the reverse this is everything that I've been telling you. So you are the creator of your own reality. Of course, you have to go through painful lessons in life and you can't find a way out. You can only create more suffering for you if you don't surrender to these. But about the rest, you know, it's up to you how you see these things, how you handle them and how you get out of them. And it's time for you to take charge. Like we have... Um, I'm, I'm drawn to this, um, I want to call it a scepter, okay, the snake around it. Your energy, your drive has been limited by this toxic energy. So get rid of that snake, kind of cut its head off in, in your mind, in your visions. You don't ever want to hurt an animal. This is just, you know, the snake standing for the devil energy. You have a sword, okay? So just use that sword wisely and do some white magic to have all of the beauty that is waiting for you. So that's your loved ones giving you instructions to have this rainbow bliss. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I certainly did. Please leave a thumbs up if that's the case. Take super good care. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number three, the Behind the Illusion card and this clear crystal quartz. So we are about to channel your deceased loved ones so that they can tell you what it is that they want you to do. Just know that this is a reading for the collective. Not every single detail might resonate with you. Only take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. But yeah, as always, you can ask about anyone on the other side. Gender, age, background, none of that matters. Truth and love is the only thing that matters, okay? So, truth and love. Deception. Okay. Now, if you look at this card, there's a lot of smoke. Smoke and cloudiness. So... Your loved ones want you, obviously, to get behind an illusion. They're going to be more specific about this, but 
I'm getting many different psychic downloads. Let me just ground myself. And you too, please ground yourselves. Allow for me to read your energies as your reader. I'll be doing it for the highest good of everyone involved. Time and space are relevant. This is going to work. So some of you, you are very cloudy in your, your brain. You might have literal brain fog. Others of you, you might, you know, have turned to some vices to deal with um, life. So some of you could be smoking and you've been smoking too much or maybe it's drinking or some some substances that you've been using. Maybe your loved ones did that. Um, so there's certainly some interference through substances it could also be the all the toxins in the air water and food that we are consuming that's all i can say about that um for others i don't know is someone actively deceiving you we will find out this is a very deep and quite interesting reading um four and two it's up to six so I'm just going to tell you, and this will only be for small group amongst you, and you will know if this is true. There is a situation where in a relationship you are either or have been, where, I don't know, the timeline, deceived or cheated on, or maybe it's not cheating, but someone is giving you a false story about something now also for some of you your loved ones might come through and tell you what they told you about me is not true is not the full truth so that could be the cause of death or some personal business so there is a truth that needs to be uncovered and they're kind of doing that from the other side they're coming through this mirror guys mirrors and glass and photos are portals so that could be a message for some of you. So we want to get behind this fog. We want to lift a veil here. Um, only watch this reading if you are receptive to the truth and to deep spiritual teachings. If you're not, do not continue to watch this reading. Something uncomfortable might come to the surface. It doesn't have to be the case, but it could be. Some people in my audience are very sensitive and judgmental. So don't watch if you're one of those people, don't watch. But the rest of you are so lovely, guys. I really love the vast majority amongst you. You're so supportive so loving i love you so much limitless love here for you this heart is for you <laughs> who are here to support me and everyone else so let's see what this is but you will get clarity look the crystal quartz and i really really wanted to use my crystal ball today which is all about clarity okay lifting the fork you're gonna get clarity and your loved ones are quite you know they want you to have this clarity, but obviously some pain is involved in it, but it's it's good. It's good clarity. Okay, it's white energy, white energy. And I see again um, these angel aura reflections here. So this is going to be it's going to be good. I don't think you're going to feel a lot of pain here. Hopefully not. Um, let's get more of these lovely, beautiful cards that Melanie sent. Thank you so much if you're watching. If anyone else would like to send in some crystals or cards. I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. The truth will be uncovered. Oh, wow. Feeling the world. Number 13. So this is about some ending or death for sure. And this lady here is representing your loved ones. Obviously, your loved one can be any age or ethnicity or gender. It's just the imagery here that I read, your loved ones looking down upon you and they want to communicate some truth about an ending. It could be their ending of their physical existence or it could be a relationship ending. We will see. But they want to speak that truth to you. Okay. So. And they feel your pain. They feel the pain that this illusion and lack of clarity or closure has been um giving you i don't know why today i'm having such a hard time kind of drawing cards okay the spirit of gratitude i was not expecting this at all 
this doesn't okay so guys in this reading and sometimes that's just the vibe um we're not going to focus so much on the words we're going to focus on the imagery there is something you heard look there's ears on the cup your loved ones if you're struggling when it comes to receiving signs from them know that they send visual signs they not, might not be so good to with words. Maybe you would love to have a song from them or angel numbers. I feel like the majority use images. So whatever that could be, okay, what you can see with your eye. And here they want you to see that you have been told a wrong ver version of something and that they will now give you this information through your or my crown chakra. And there is something, let me just tap into these energies. They literally told me tap in, tap in. I'm going to use this crystal to help me. What they want to say, they're, they're saying something. Just give me a second. If this bores you, skip ahead. But um, I want to read something very important here. This is very, very touching. And obviously this will only be for maybe only one of you but there is a male coming through and it could be a father a baby daddy or a male and they went away from you you separated and they're telling you i wanted to come back to you and then i died so they wanted to come back to you this could be a father you were separated from at birth who left they wanted to come back to you or maybe it's someone, a, a, a partner who just went on their own ways. They wanted to come back to you. Like some, some male here, they went a long distance from you and they wanted to come back. They say, I'm sorry. And um, don't trust all the things that you hear about me. Maybe there's a lot of, you know, drama and um, gossip about that person. They're saying there might be some truth to it, but... Deep down in my heart, I loved you and I wanted to come back to you. This makes me quite sad. It's very emotional. So I hope this, this resonated with someone here and that it helped someone. But yeah, for the rest of you, what is it that um, you, group number two heard and that was not the truth? I'm going to try and do this technique. What is, what is the... What are these lies that they heard? Letting go. I saw this card at the bottom. 49. Again, it's up to 13. I know this is not very um, detailed yet, but I'm going to get my tarot card soon. This is about their passing and how it happened. So they want you to know I'm free because we see the butterfly here. I'm free. I'm getting another psychic download. This is quite, they show me images. Someone here, and this is quite tragic. They were, I'm sorry, trigger warning. Don't continue to watch. It's going to be a little bit graphic if that upsets you. I'm not going to be too graphic, but someone here had an object. Like, I don't know if they were stabbed or if they had an accident where you know, something went through their chest, through their torso or something. I don't know why they want you to see that. But they're showing you very clearly that something, a sharp, big object, like brutally went through my chest. Wow, that is quite a lot. So it's about how they pass. Do not believe what you hear, is what they're saying. And also they're saying something about witnesses at, at the death scene. Some of you, there are witnesses who have not spoken out or have not spoken the truth. But there is someone who knows something, they saw something, but they are scared to speak up. I see accidents here for some of you. And this could could be so many different things, but I'm seeing two scenarios. One here died supposedly died in a car accident and that might not be the whole truth because there could be a culprit and a witness who know others might have ended their lives themselves okay or, so, or someone here was actually unalived but they made it look like 
the S word. Like they did it themselves, guys. This is very tough. And they're saying you might already suspect that you've been given a false present representation of the truth. Like you will know in your heart how it truly happened. There's a big message about for some of you about some kind of witness, some kind of person who knows more. Um, loved ones, what can you actually say now that helps group number three understand? They're showing me a mouth now, so speaking. Someone needs to speak a truth and they are saying that they might, someone will come out of the shadows now and speak or try to speak, or maybe you should speak to someone that you're suspecting now is more. Speak. Some Something will soon be spoken about this by someone who's alive. <laughs> I showed you this card in the beginning, and I knew that, you know, it, it was relevant. And here it is again. Two and six, infinite love. They want to tell you, I love you. So this is for everyone watching who still has doubts about whether your person truly loved you. I'm just going to say bluntly, they might have not been the best, most honest or serious person. Did you just hear that click behind me? They often do that to confirm. So they might have had a bit of a dodgy lifestyle, but they want to say, my soul loved you. And I wanted to do better. And if people say I hated you, I neglected you, or I wanted to end it because I didn't love you, something that's not true. I love you. I love, 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 love you. And now that they are on the other side, you know, this heart has angel wings and there's a shining light. They are doing good. So don't worry about them. They're doing good. Um, the only reason they're communicating this to you is because they want you to have clarity and they know how, how this upsets you, the lack of clarity and certainty and truth. But they love you and they want you to know that they were forgiven by the divine and healed. Okay, so they are healed. They're good. Everything's good on their behalf and they're sending you love so that you will be doing better as well. Okay, the love between the two of you shows no limits, has no limits, has no boundaries. Um, and whatever happened and whatever separation you went through in the physical has nothing on, on this love between the two of you. So I'm going to get um, tarot cards now to find out more details. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and appreciate what I do here. It's very important that you do that. And um, comments help a lot. So if you don't know what to say, just leave a purple heart or a mirror emoji. And if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe, please subscribe. So loved ones, what do you want to say? What do you want to say now about this truth or how about you really, how you really feel? Maybe they want to tell you, yeah, they want to tell you now about how they really felt because you heard things that do not correspond, you know, are not true when it comes to their genuine feelings. So they want to talk about our feelings I'm using Diane's um, Little Prince cards. I love them so much. Thank you, Diane. How do they truly feel? Loved ones, how do you truly feel? Maybe they never got to say goodbye to you and they would have loved to tell you how much they loved you. The Knight of Pentacles. They look, they're, um, having this finger, they're pointing up. So for some of you, they knew that this was about to happen. And guys, I'm getting so many different stories. I'm sorry, like some of it will not resonate at all with many of you. But some knew that this was going to happen either because they planned it or because they were involved with some shady business and they knew that they had enemies who wanted to unalive them. Okay, and they wish they had told you about this, that they are in danger or something. For the rest of you, they just wish... They could have anticipated this ending to let you know that even when I die, when my physical body is not with you anymore, I'll still be there for you. Look, they're doing this like I'm still there. I'm loving you. This is them now. This is their heart. OK, and they're very loyal to you. They will never leave you alone. Never, ever. They're still there for you as much as they can because their soul essence is this knight of pentacles full of love and commitment. That's too many. 
having a hard time with the cards today. Still going to try to shuffle. We are the sun. The sun. So someone here might quite literally be a sun. Okay, not the planet. Um, but, you know, a child, a male child. A male child might have been left behind or they are that male child. Also, I see these, these things here. And it kind of looks like paw prints. And we have the rose. And this looks like a rainbow. So... I need a clarifier because this is about an upset child. So that could be you or them or someone else. An upset child. What about this upset child, please? This sad child. What about this sad child? I'm getting again the message that some of you were abandoned by the, your father and they want to say, I wish I would have been more responsible. I wish I would have committed to you and help raise you and support you financially and emotionally. Yeah, this is quite sad. So whoever this is, there is so much worry and fear. And um, again, I'm so sorry, guys, but your loved ones are all over the place. It's so many with different very different stories. Some again are telling you, I was harassed, I was threatened, I was stalked and they ended me. Okay, those of you don't resonate with this, your loved one unalived themselves because they were very upset, their inner child was broken and they couldn't see a way out. For others, if you were in separation, they wish they could have been there for you to comfort you and be more loyal. It's quite hard to do this reading because so many different loved ones with very different stories are coming through. And by the way, here we see the sun just peeking through. So the sun will come up again. Six of Wands. Oh, I love that. I hope you read The Little Prince. If you haven't, please do. Highly recommend. There's an aeroplane and this child now dancing on it tools okay so because in the story the plane crashes okay and um it can be fixed is the message here so the wounds will be fixed everything can be fixed is their message your karmic relationship can be fixed your pain can be fixed and healed their reputation can be re-established Closure can be given, the truth can come out, and it will. They're very hopeful. They're dancing here, okay, and they're saying it's going to happen. It might take a lot of strength and effort, but it will happen. This can be fixed. So trust and believe that you will come out of this victorious in a sense that you will have your closure or you will have the truth be told and be out there. So just trust in it. It's going to happen because the divine is helping. Well... <laughs> What an intense reading again. Group number one and three were quite something. So I hope you made it till the end if you did. Thank you so, so very much. Love you guys. Please leave a thumbs up. Take very good care. I hope I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye-bye.